Holla peeps, it's your girl Cherie, reporting live for Cherie TV, what you say. I'm keeping my ear to the news, finding out more and more about this child that was returned. She was dropped off at a location and picked up by police. That's how it was done. Well, no, you know what I'm saying, anything other than that. There was a ransom on her for $100,000, though. Hundred thousand dollars. I'd be like, that's all I'm worth. Skincare brand is so effective, so trusted, so clinically proven. Skincare brand is so effective. Like that's all. Let's see what's going on on my Facebook page. Dropped off at a location. You're waiting for a presser. Press conference. Short for press conference. Presser. Oh, well. See, it's good she's alive. I didn't think she would be alive. She's been gone a long time. Oh, it was violent, her abduction. So somebody did break in the house. They broke into the back door. The mother tried to hide the kids. The gunman shot the dog. And so she was stolen. Here we go. I'm very fortunate that it has come to uh, the resolution that it has, um, and we will begin momentarily. Momentarily. Again, welcome to Clinton County Police Department. Thank you all for joining us. Here we go. We have 
outstanding news. But before we get started, I'd like to introduce everyone on the dais. Come on up. We'll squeeze up if we can. And you all should know our chief of police, Greg Reporter, the deputy chiefs, Chris Butler, and Gina Hawkins, chairman of the Board of Commissioners, Jeff Turner. We have uh, ASAC Robert Andrews from Homeland Security Investigations. We also have ASAC Rick Mark Maxwell, excuse me, uh, from the FBI. And uh, we have a couple of uh, special agents from the GBI, Jesse Wilson and Debbie Loving. We have representatives from our district attorney's office. Uh, and they are good people on top. And Herbert Hamilton, Chief Assistant Dan, from Mr. Tracy Ramos. Uh, yes, again, GBI agent Jesse Wilson and Debbie Loving. And now I will introduce Chief Gregory Porter, Clayton County Police. Good evening, good evening. This is a good day. This is a good day for the family, the Reyes family, but more importantly, for the wife. She is safe. She is safe. I want to thank the community as a whole for supporting the Clayton County Police Department and all the collaboration between the agencies, federal, state, and local agencies throughout this ordeal. She's been reunified with her family. Reunified. We have two suspects in custody. We're looking at some other suspects, and I'll let the FBI talk about that later. She was recovered at a location in Conyers, Georgia. The investigation is still active, and still uh, we're still receiving phone calls as, as we speak. Again, special thanks to the FBI, GBI, HSI, APD, Clayton County District Attorney's Office, and the U.S. Attorney's Office. Folks, this is a prime example of community policing, prime example of collaboration through uh, a situation where all were affected not only the Clayton County community, but the metro area. I'll be entertaining any questions at, at this time. So hardcore law enforcement uh, boots to the ground. Uh, again, the people who I just mentioned were tireless hours to uh, to uh, make sure this young lady was safe. He said books to the ground. I think he meant boots to the ground. Judge on that. Uh, but that's again, not a human there. Questions about the investigation. Well, we do not want to compromise the integrity of the investigation. Earlier, you had said that there was no connection. He was a father's There was no connection um, between the family and these alleged kidnappers. Is that still the case? Is there a relationship between the mother and the kidnappers that you can share with us? Yeah, I'll let the FBI uh, touch on that. Some of the yes, yes, yes. How does she do at all? No, she's, she's in uh, good health. Uh, she's being, as we speak, she's been reunified with her family. Reunified. Again, it, it started off as a home invasion and, and probably uh, leaned over into uh, uh, the uh, abduction of, of this young lady. Shot the, the family dog. dog. She, she's been evacuated at this point. Does that? Uh, not at this point. Well, that we know of. Well, she still is being evaluated at this point. We, we don't know at this point. Again, like I said, you know, initially started off as a home invasion, then leading to uh, a, uh, the abduction of, of this particular young lady. Well, she's Can you tell us where in Conyers? Yeah, we, the address in Conyers. Uh, we have an address. Don't give out the address. We will get that address. Can you give us the narrative? Okay. Can you give us the narrative of how she was dropped off, how that happened? I'll let the FBI touch on that. I'll, I'll let them, uh, any other questions. Uh, I mean, what are the right One question at a time. Say again. We have two people in custody. Again, the FBI will provide that information here shortly. See, how much manpower went into finding her? We had. Uh, he I just told y'all how much manpower. FBI, uh, involved, GBI, involved, 
Um, APD. And, and, uh, like I said, uh, again, I want, to, I want to thank the people that I mentioned, along with the hardworking men and women at the Clayton County Police Department. Uh, look at the composite of the guys. There was some mention about that, but I don't want to get into the specific clinic. Again, folks, we're still wrapping up this investigation. We're still in the preliminary stages. Uh, I think what's, what is important at this point is she's safe. Before you start to the FBI, I'm hoping you can answer some more of these questions. Uh, were you there present for the reunification of the No, sir. No, sir. Any of you were present for that? No, not in my knowledge. Are you all saying she's now at a hospital? Where is she being evaluated? She's nearby, and like I said, you know, due to the confidentiality of this young lady's age and so on and so forth, you know, we, we're limited in what we can say about What can you say about how the, the two suspects were captured? Do hardcore police work. Boots to the ground. Yeah, no, no, no he did say boots to the ground this time. We were countless of hours trying to uh, bring this uh, 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 situation to, to a closure. And again, I think what is important at this point is that she's safe, she's with her family, and we need to. Uh, and again, I want to thank the media for, for y'all's help. Uh, was there any confrontation, violence, or misapprehension? I wasn't there. I'll let the FBI speak on that. What can you tell us about? Let's get to the FBI. She's been in the metro area. We don't. Uh, we're still interviewing and evaluating her health at this point. Who from the FBI can talk to us right now? Who from the FBI? I'd be remiss if I did not recognize uh, Chairman Turner, uh, Chairman of the uh, Clay County Commission Board. I want him to say a couple words, uh, and I'll uh, give him an opportunity to say something. <laughs> Good afternoon, and as the Chief said, well, first of all, I'm Chairman Jeff Turner, Chairman of the Clayton County Board of Commissioners. And as the Chief said, it's a great day for law enforcement, great day for the community, definitely a great day for Perez's family. You know, this should serve as an example of what happens when law enforcement comes together to work collaboratively. The results are, young lady was saved, local, state, and federal agents came together, worked together, and was able to bring this young lady home. I also would be remiss if I did not say my thanks to the community. They immediately jumped on social media outlets and spread the word. The word spread very quickly. Media responded. Thank you for putting out the word in response to uh, the kidnapping as well. So, again, I would be remiss if I didn't get up here and thank each and every one of you, the citizens of Clayton County, and definitely the men and women who are standing behind me or representative of those who are standing behind me for the hard work that they put in on a regular basis. So thank you. I was just going to introduce you, sir. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Rick Maxwell. I'm the Assistant Special Agent in Charge of the FBI. Um, so at this time, we have two individuals in custody. Uh, there's a Juan Alberto Contreras Rodriguez. He's a 40-year-old Mexican national. He's currently being held on U.S. immigration-related charges by the Federal Homeland Security investigators. Uh, the other individual in custody at this point is Will Drago Jackson. He's uh, age of 29 of Atlanta. And he's currently being held uh, in violation of 18 U.S.C. 1201 conspiracy to kidnap. Uh, at this time, those are the only two people that are in custody. Uh, there are several other subjects, suspects, that we are still investigating. Uh, because of that, I really will not be able to get into a lot of the particulars on this. Do you believe both of these two people went into the house? Do you believe that? I'm sorry? Do you believe that both of these two people went into the house yesterday morning? Sir, I think we're going to comment on, on the specifics of the investigation at this particular point in time. Do you know the relationship between the, the alleged kidnapper and the uh, No. Uh, we, we, we have not determined the relationship between those, those individuals at this particular point in time. Someone in the family did know someone. So we have not determined the relationship between these individuals at this time. We're not the target. We have not determined the motive, motive for this at this point. Who the nationality of Mr. Jackson or where he's from? To the best of my knowledge, Mr. Mr. Jackson is a United States citizen. Uh, he's out of Atlanta. Could you give us a narrative of what went on out in Conyers? I'm, I'm sorry, not this time. 
So there's no wilds associated with the acronym of the United Nations. Was there no way to drop off of the dead weight? Um, I, I will not comment on the investigation at this particular point in time. Uh, 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 I have no knowledge of that. Again, we want to thank the public and the media, not only for their assistance, but their patience in this investigation. We worked very hard uh, to, to bring this to a close. Um, again, uh, as the chief and chairman said before, this was a, a real collaborative uh, investigative effort. Um, everybody here, every agency in the metro Atlanta area, uh, had participated and assisted us in some manner or fashion, and um, and we also want to thank the public for their for their tips and, and the information that they provide us as well. I know nothing about the reunification. I know that it's going on at this particular point in time. We believe that's true. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Well, that's it. Uh, folks, again, I I must stress that this investigation is still active. We have suspects, potential suspects at large, and the information that you all are asking for would potentially jeopardize our investigation. So we ask you again to please be patient with us as we provide information to you. Two suspects. Two, two men are being charged. I got two people in custody, should I say. That's it. Hey, Bonnie is found. Safe and sound. But we don't know what she's been through, you know, since she's been uh, abducted. But it was two guys, one Mexican, one black, it looks like. Because he had dreadlocks in the drawing. And, um, they broke in through the back of the house, and it started out as a home invasion. They shot the family dog and then took the kid, and they wanted a hundred thousand dollars. It's crazy. Well, the important thing is that she's safe and sound at this time. Holla. So everybody go on forward and have a great day. More Cherie TV coming at you very soon. I love you guys. Holla.